Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome to Error 50... Hashtag 54. Or uh, Error Number 54. This is a little uh, indie horror game that I found that actually looked really, really good. So, uh, thanks for that. Downloaded the game. Hope you enjoy. Also, you can donate to me on issue. If we gain 100, I'll put another game up. Uh, the game can have uh, grammatical errors since I'm from Russia. Okay. All right, here we go. Mm. It's been a while since I've played a one-off uh, horror game like this. I'm ready to fight him. What the hell is going on? Is that me? Is this me? Um. Okay. Oh, hello. Mouse. One to continue. Uh. Okay. How do I? Oh, F. Okay. That's fine. Oh, that's rain. Okay, that door doesn't open. Okay, I can sprint. Uh, can I turn that off? Because that's really annoying. There's like enemies. I can't look down any further. Okay. Um, this game's kind of like fuzzy. It's got like that... It like forces a lower resolution or something. What was that? Wait, is this the same? Oh, this is like a PT kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, open up the drawers. Okay. I'm hoping that was me. Okay. Wait, can I go back? I can't. So I better not miss anything then. Oh my god, that... Ah, that was not me that time. I'm sure of what's... A lantern? Adding that to the inventory. Oh, it's a broken lantern. What do I want with a broken lantern? Hello? Cybercrime. The latest news for today. A dangerous virus has rapidly captured hundreds of thousands of devices around the world. American telecommunications company Jane Freak has warned users about the active spreading of malicious software called hashtag or number 64. I'm going to call it number 64. This virus has infected hundreds of thousands of computers and this number is growing exponentially. Information security experts claim that the virus collects all possible information about the user and transmits it to the creator. London, Washington accused Russia of spreading virus. I mean, you can't just accuse without evidence. So it's like a... A computer virus that's like swept... Ah! <sighs> Strobe technique. I really hope I didn't steal that from another YouTuber because I've been saying that since the FNAF two days and that might have been a Markiplier thing. I don't know. I know me and George screaming at each other a lot. I probably shouldn't be so gung-ho about going through doors like that. Okay, so something tells me. Who's playing like distorted Super Mario music? 
I don't think there's ever really gonna be anything in those. I would like the. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? You wanna let me out, maybe? <sighs> oh, someone's outside the door. Thank you. Thank you. You knocked that over. I'm gonna be a klutz. I gotta admit, I'm kind of unsettled. This dude's breathing makes me mad. Well, it's kind of a shallow thing to say about someone, but his breathing makes me mad. The city of Portland residents reported loss of well-known video blogger having uh, having on the channel more than 100,000 subscribers. That's, that's a lot. <clears throat> on the channel, blogger... Uh, shared how to fix various system errors and get rid of viruses. It's known uh, that the blogger at the time of the kidnapping was home and filmed another video tutorial and even managed to save the file called How to Fix Number 54 System Error. The search has already begun. Well. Unsure about how to feel about that. Oh. Uh oh. What if I shut the door? Oh, whoa. I gotta say, this game is good at like. Whoa, whoa! What the f this game's good at making me mad. But also, this is kind of a very. Why? Unsure! This was made by one person in the span of, I think, two months. So, this is really good, especially for. for like the time frame and. What did he say, $100? Like, I'm assuming this, because he said oh, another 100 bucks and he can make another game. I'm assuming that this was made on a $100 budget. Which is great. Okay, why does this keep happening? I don't want to go down this hallway. I don't want to see what's behind this door. I mean, I have a flashlight. Oh, is it going to ping pong me? Oh. I thought there was going to be another shadow. What game did that to me? Where I walk in front of a thing and there's a shadow behind me. Ah! That 
chair scared the piss out of me. Look behind you. Oh, damn it. Oh. That didn't get me as bad. Can I just... Can you... Oh. You want to play? What about hide and seek? You're hiding. I don't... <gasps> hey, buddy! Oh, God! Go, 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 go! I'm right here. Something tells me that he's not following me anymore. So do I just have to... Ah! Mm. Cybercrime, the latest news for today. Epidemic of dangerous computer virus moves to a new level. Yesterday, the virus named number 54 seized all electronic billboards in Tokyo and demonstrated this startling inscription, you are next. To save the city from the inscription, the only... Uh, could only be one way. Power off. The damage caused by the most massive cyber attack is estimated to tens of millions of dollars. City, author city authorities are furious. That's a lot of cheddar. So does that do like a zombie? I feel like you wouldn't. Zombies don't typically play hide and seek. Although, would zombies not be much cooler if they did play hide and seek? I would like that. And also, anytime I get too close to a wall, the like fuzzy, those, the textures pop in. But I mean, I'm not gonna like pick on this game because of the, I don't, that's the only issue I've really found with it. There's a, like he said, but he called himself out for it, or she, I don't actually know. Uh,. There's a few grammatical errors here and there. I think this dude's just constantly holding his breath, and like the breathing we hear is just him relieving it. Where did I come from in here? Uh, I will open the door out. Well, I'm pretty sure I came from in there. Pretty sure. Yeah. Oh. Number 54 virus is the biggest threat to the global economy. Over the past few days, hundreds of millions of people have complained about their banks for stolen money and completely zeroed out cash accounts. The damage is estimated at over $10 billion, and as strange as it may sound, we may not now do not advise use of internet access at all because of virus number 54. So, what does, like, a computer virus have to do with a creepy, glowy-eyed guy chasing me around in a PT-esque game? Leave this place. I've been trying since, like... Oh. Give me the keys, please. Keys. So, like... I said back? 
I don't think I was sent back. Why was I sent back? Is it because I died? Hmm. I think it's because I died. Um. I hate looking for shit. Just, just let me get out. I don't know, this game's actually pretty good. It's like, it makes me nervous to play it. Like, I don't know, I'm unnerved by it. And, I mean, obviously that's exactly what it's meant to do. But it's just, it does it well. Like, it freaks me out. Itchy. Although the actual monster itself, not very scary. It's the idea of it stalking you. It's pretty creepy. I would also very much like to get out of here and, and you know, I have other horror games I want to play today. Along with Castlevania. So I would like to, I would like to get out of here please. Just a thought. I mean, it's not like a need. It's more of like a desperate need to just finally. That took way longer than I had to. Jeez. Yeah, I sent me backwards a bit. Unsure on how to progress, even though I've already done it. She scared me. That was a genuinely startling game. And the only thing that I found annoying was the maze. Wow. Good job. Very good job. Uh, be sure to check in for the next one. Because I want to see you there.